Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I promised I was going to upload the second part of my 2017 planner setup which covers how I set up my mini size disc bound notebook, but I had some issues recording the voiceover so I'll have to upload it next Friday. Instead, today's video is going to be about the visual time tracking system that I use in my bullet journal. Usually, bullet journalists use a vertical or horizontal time tracker to track the tasks and activities that they want to do or did in a day. I prefer to use my circular trackers because they represent the day in a shape similar to a clock, so it helps me to visualize my schedule in a more intuitive way. I also like it because I divided each hour into 15 minute segments so I can be really specific when tracking the amount of time I invested in a task. These stickers are a 24-hour clock divided into two layers of 12 hours. The inner layer is the 12-hour block of AM hours, and the outside layer is the 12-hour block of PM hours. Therefore, if you start at 12 AM in the inner layer, and go around to the clock clockwise, you would reach the mark for 12 again and go to the outside layer to start tracking the PM hours starting from 12 as well. Each pedal represents one hour and each segment in between two dashed lines represents 15 minutes. To use these stickers, you must have a color coding system for the activities you want to start tracking. This is an example of my color coding system. Now, to give you an example, I'll pretend I'm tracking a day and fill it out accordingly. Let's say I wake up at 6 a.m. and my morning routine takes me about 2 hours and a half to complete. This means I would shade the petals from 6 to 7 and half of 8. If I then want to start working on a project from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., I would color the inner petals up until 12 p.m. and then switch to the outside petals to mark the 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. hour. From then on, I would continue to fill in the petals as I complete any other activity I plan for the day. These are examples of how I've used the stickers before. For the moment, these are printable stickers on my Etsy store. Many of you have asked me in private messages if I would sell them already printed, and the answer is that I am still figuring out how to ship internationally from the Dominican Republic. You can print them on sticker paper like I do. I buy my paper from Amazon, and then I cut them out with my small scissors that I can always carry around in my home cube pencil case. Which is, by the way, the best pencil case I've used by far. And I'll be making a review soon, so you can look forward to that. You can stick multiple stickers at a time in your weekly setup, like I've done before, or stick them as you go in your daily spreads, as I am doing now in this mini journal. That's everything for today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. If you haven't, also follow me on Instagram where I post pictures of my planner almost every day. And you can also check out my Patreon page if you'd like to support my art. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Friday.